What's up guys, Brian Tong here with CNET.com and check this out on my head, you know what this is. This is Sony's Project Morpheus. This is their dev kit, their first ever virtual reality headset. Now we've seen things from Oculus Rift and Sony has also had their own HMZ series of a headset to watch video, but this is a full immersive virtual reality experience. And right now the Project Morpheus, this is not the final name, this is not the final prototype, but this is their first proof of concept. It's done really well, you know, overall the weight on my head, it wasn't too heavy. And then there's space in between where my eyes are on the monitor. So overall, it felt pretty comfortable. Now, this headset does need to work in conjunction with a PS4, it's not standalone. It'll connect hardwire right now through HDMI and USB. So they're hoping in the future to make a wireless version, but right now, this is set to work with your PlayStation 4. And then also to enhance the experience, you'll have the motion controllers, the PlayStation Move, also the PlayStation camera. They all work in harmony to create a really immersive virtual reality experience. Now, some of the other things and the challenges that they have here is that they want to create a world that feels real, that sounds real. Uh, when I was playing this castle game, I was able to interact with a knight, with swords, with a crossbow, and with a dragon. And other aspects of this is it supports full 360 degree audio, so depending on where you are, you'll hear the different sounds. Now this dev kit, again, it's not the final version, but it does support a 90 degree viewing angle from where you are. Also, it's 1080p LCD displays in the headset, and then you can rotate a full 360 degrees to really be in a world of your own. Now, the thing with this VR headset is it's not looked as an accessory. Sony and others like Oculus Rift are really trying to make this a platform. It's really a genre that is yet to be defined, so it's gonna come down to the content and the games that support this. Now, Sony has no official release date. They've said they're trying to get this out to the public as soon as possible with the highest fidelity quality of image, also the lowest latency so that when you move around the world, feels real and there's not any of that motion blur that I experienced a little bit time to time, but really it's an immersive device. It has a long ways to go, but this is just the start. It's gonna get a whole lot better. So for CNET.com, I'm Brian Tong with your first look at Sony's Project Morpheus.